Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Anthony Cofrancesco from Data Dive, and today I'm really excited to be talking about this new feature release. This is all around PPC bids. And what I'll say is that this was a heavily requested feature. I want you to know that when you're making suggestions in the app, we've got 35 developers that are working around the clock building this thing out for all of you. So keep those requests coming and we will keep the features coming. And without further ado, let's jump into this. So we've added a new feature inside of the PPC keywords tab. And what this does is we've added a few new columns which show uh, suggested bids. And you can see suggested bid, suggested bid range. You can even see impression. And for all the different campaigns you have, exact, phrase, broad, everything's there. So if you haven't already, in a previous feature release, we walked through connecting your Seller Central and your PPC accounts to Datadive. And so if you haven't already done that, when you first start using this, you're going to see this uh, warning icon. So if you're seeing that, all you have to do is go to the Amazon Connections tab, select your marketplace, and then add the connection. Once you get past this step, all you have to do is check the box to authorize, select confirm, and then now it's going to show a green icon when your Seller Central account is connected to Datadive. Uh, you'll also have to go through and connect your PPC account. And it's a very similar process. Just go through, click that button, click allow. And once they're both set up and connected, you'll see two green icons there. So once you've actually gone through and connected those accounts, now you're going to start to see these suggested bids from Amazon. Now, an important thing to note is that the impression data is only going to show if you're actively selling that product on Amazon. So if you're starting to research into a new niche, you're not going to see that impression data just yet. But if you are selling the product, you're going to see the impressions in that column there, the impression percentage. Now, the other thing I want to show you is going over to the PPC campaigns. And so again, after you've gone through and connected your Seller Central and your PPC accounts, you're going to see two new columns here. This one here is for suggested bid and then the bid as well. Now, you can see here Amazon suggested bid and the range of bids from minimum to maximum, as well as the suggested bid, which is going to be shown by default. Now, you can actually go through and edit these values. All you got to do is go through and click that button, and then you're going to be able to adjust your suggested bid amount. And you can even change the formulas there. You can go from suggested, minimum bid, maximum bid, whatever you'd like in that range. You can even change the value in the extra field there right on the right-hand side. And you'll see, in this case, we uh, said to do two times the suggested bid, which is now showing up as $1.46. So the same process can be repeated for minimum bid range and also the maximum bid range. And we've also added this feature. You can do this for phrase, for broad, um, all the different campaign types. So if we select PPC campaigns for launch, you're also going to see this new suggested build uh, bid feature rather under, uh, under the general parameters section. So again, you can go through and you can toggle what you want those parameters to be. And you'll see we also have um, the suggested bid range here down at the bottom as well under those PPC campaigns for launch. So again, you're going to see the suggested bid, the bid range. And again, you can go through and customize your bid by actually clicking that value. So I know that was pretty quick. I hope that was helpful. I know a lot of people have been asking, hey, can we just see some data from Amazon about all these different keywords? It's great that we have all these keywords, but what do these things actually cost? So this feature is here because you requested it. And so that's why I'm showing you this screen. As you're going through the tool, you can use this QR code to submit feedback. But if you don't already know, you can submit feedback directly in the app. I promise we do actually read it. So keep those coming. And if you have any questions about this new feature, you have any questions, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed to the Data Dive YouTube channel, you might want to consider doing that because this is the fastest way to get updates. And with that being said, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and we'll see you in the next feature update. Have an awesome day.